What is going on, people? It is the one, the only, the Sven D. And you can see, it is time for Subscriber Sunday, my favorite video to do of the week. And we actually have a pretty nice amount of questions to go for this week. So we are going to get right into this bitch and get this party started. Mm. So... The first question we have for this week is SPB, and his question is, if you could be any character in any of the COD campaigns, including zombies, which one would you be? Well, I would probably have to say, man, this is tough. Oh my gosh, I can't think of his name. The Russian and zombies. Oh, let's see, there's Rick Toffin, there's Dempsey. There, oh, alright, I just had a total brain fart or whatever you want to call it, but that Russian guy in zombies, I can't think of his fucking name, for being the self-proclaimed fucking zombies master, I can't even think of all the characters' names, but since I can't think of his name, I'll say Dempsey, because Dempsey is a badass just as much, I just, there's nothing better than a dr drunk Russian, I do gotta say, some other notable characters would definitely be Captain Price and Soap McTavish, damn it, love those guys. The next one is from the life and times of Nate G. If you could turn any man into a woman so you could make love to them, who would it be? He says, mine would be Fabio. Well, I actually kind of like this question a lot. This is actually a badass question. Like, these are the questions that I like to get for Subscriber Sunday. Um, I would have to say, if I could turn any man into a woman and make love to him or her, it would either be uh, maybe Justin Timberlake, Marilyn Manson, Big Bird from the Sesame Street, or the Michelin Tire Man. So, hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> You guys probably think I'm sitting here smoking crack or something after that response. <laughs> nah, it'd be Johnny Depp. I would totally, even if he wasn't a woman, if I had the chance to, I'd probably sleep with him right now. The next one is from the Funky Chicken. And he asks, Yo Sven, just wondering... What is your favorite Ben and Jerry's ice cream? And this question is another one that I love because Ben and Jerry's is the greatest ice cream ever. Ever. I've actually been down to DC to like one of their big, um, I don't know, one of the big Ben and Jerry's stores or whatever like that. And it's just like, ugh, it's amazing. But, um, I, I do like, I like Cherry Garcia, but I would have to say that my favorite is Chunky Monkey, by far, without a doubt. Um, I actually did, I think, the thesis paper for my associate's degree. I think I did it on Ben and & Jerry's and some stuff about their business, but Ben & Jerry's is amazing, and if you haven't tried Ben & Jerry's, you are missing out on one of the greatest things in life, and I recommend you go, you spend the $4 to get the pint of ice cream at your store. It's expensive, but it's worth it. And you know, for you guys out there, it's actually not a bad idea, man. I've used Ben & Jerry's to, you know... You know, loosen up some girls before, you know, just get a girl. If I'm going to take her home with me, not after a party probably, but if I'm just taking a girl out, say we go out to dinner and a movie, there's nothing better than to go into a store with her, picking out a, pay, or, uh, a pint of ice cream from Ben & Jerry's, taking it home with her, watching a movie at home and eating it. It'll do, it'll do the job for you. That's all I'll say. I'll leave it at that. Ben & Jerry's all the way, damn it. The next one is from Captain Waffle Fries, and he's got a three-part question. Hmm. The first one is, if you could commando lunch someone in real life, who would it be? Um, probably only use me blade. Also, if you had a 50 caliber sniper rifle, whose head would you blow off? Um, I would either say... Optic Hex or Optic Predator. Also, when you sleep, do you think about me like I do about you? Um, 
I do sometimes Captain Waffle Fries, but to be honest with you, I actually like to touch myself and think about you when I'm not sleeping. But we'll just next question, next question. Next question is from Video Begins in 3, 2, 1. Do you have friends slash know anyone that is famous or successful on maybe YouTube or from anything else? What does he or she do? I actually just became friends with Lucas, the guy who made Fred. He goes to new school and I never thought I was going to talk to him because I hated his videos so much. But one day, we just started talking and now we are buds. Um, I'm not... Oh, I guess the initial question is do I have any friends or know anyone that is famous? Well, not really. I mean... I've talked to a couple, I've, I've only legitimately talked to one guy off of YouTube that's huge, and that's Woody's Gamer Tag, and that wasn't exactly under good circumstances, that was under that whole situation with Ukrainian limbs, and, um, I mean, I've talked to a lot of beer name commentators, like, I, I don't know, anywhere from, like, 15 to 50,000 subscribers here and there. Um, I'm not one to name drop. I really don't think I, I laugh at people that name drop and think they're cool, saying like, you know, I got this guy on my friends list, and I talked to this guy, and I I was in a skate party with this guy. Like, dude, who cares? Come on now, come on now, damn it. But um, you know, my friend's dad, he was one of the most well-known tattoo artists throughout the United States. Um, I don't know if that counts or something. I've met a couple of football players from the National Football League. So I mean I've met I've met my fair share of people. The next one is from Corey twenty three thirty seven or twenty three seventy seven and his question is have you game shared? Yes I have. And one thing about this question that really uh surprised me lately was that I never knew game sharing was illegal. My friend was actually and this is something that I want to tell you guys, be careful with who you game share. If you have somebody you talk to off, you know, PlayStation or YouTube and you don't know them too too well be careful sharing game sharing with him because my friend thought he knew this one guy pretty well and they always played together well he let his friend log on to his account to get stuff and then this kid hacked his account and gave his account to 10 other people and they downloaded all the shit off of it and he had to call and sit on the phone with sony and bitch at them and get bitched at by them for like two or three hours just to get his account back and you know, it's you just got to be careful with that stuff. And they actually told him he had to act like he didn't know what game sharing was. He had to pretend like he didn't know what it was because they straight up told him it was legal and they could have him council banned for doing it. So just be careful doing it. Um, you definitely, if you got a personal friend that you really know, that you know in real life, go ahead. Or if you have somebody that you really trust, like, you know, I, I got that group of people I would have no problem letting log into my account. I've let some of my subscribers do it before, but it's something that you got to be very wary about and very careful with. The next one is from Rudy 826 Who would you rather verse in COD? White Boy, Wings, or Woody? And this question is amazing. Hmm. Well, you know... Since White Boy 7th Street calls himself the gold medal winning champion of the online gaming community for the PS3, I would really love to just stick it to him. Really love to just stick it to him. I would love nothing more than to just beat that bitch's ass. Oh, I'm gonna run my unconventional class with the, uh, w w uh, 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 the HS10s and the ballistic knife with C4. Come on, dude. Get on my level, son. And then you got Wings, who just doesn't think anybody's better than him in the world. You know, I would I would like to have a 1v3, me versus all three of these idiots. And you know, I probably wouldn't win. But if you give me a, an objective-based game, I guarantee I will beat these fools in fucking domination. Hey, I, I might go 15 and 30, but you see that score say 201 to 100, damn it. I promise you that. Ah, God, I get so worked up talking about those idiots. The last one we got for this week is from Mr. Rockberg Sway himself. He says, and this is another awesome question, what would you do if you got home from work and Charlie Sheen was sitting on your couch with a cigar in his mouth playing Battlefield 3? Well, first I would probably offer him Jillion. I would, uh, you know, say, hey, you, I have so much respect for you, just do it. Alright, I'll turn my head the other way, go outside, have a cup of coffee. Do what you gotta do, because I would love for nothing more than to be able to tell my friends that my girlfriend slept with Charlie Sheen. And second off, 
I would probably do a vlog with him. And then I would probably bombard some warlock's houses with napalm. And then I would have him get on my Twitter account and type hashtag winning. Just so I could say that Charlie Sheen typed hashtag winning on my Twitter account. That is what I would do. And then I would probably masturbate afterwards to a porno of Charlie Sheen. But um, anyways... That is it, people. That is all the questions for Subscriber Sunday for this week. I really enjoyed those questions. Keep them coming. I really like how you guys sent me a lot of questions this week. Let's just keep trying to build up on that. I want to get to the point where I can barely handle all the questions I got. So, hey, if you get off this video and you got a goofy-ass question you want to ask me, do it. But anyways, people, until next time, it is the one and the only, the Sven D. I do have another video that's going to be coming at you later on today called The Ten Commandments of Gameplay Commentators. So until then, people, I will catch y'all later. Peace!